raised after she says she was shot while attending a seminar on campus. The lecture was supposed to be about active shooters. Instead, she says student safety was put at risk. Nine on your side reporter Jay Warren has come from Wilmington tonight with the story. Jay? This is the wound J.D. Rewalt suffered after she was shot Thursday night here at the Kelly Center at Wilmington College. Inside, the students were facing forward, listening to Sergeant Ron Fithen introduce himself when two students entered from the two doors in the back. In the middle of his speech, two students walked in from um, either door and started open, open firing airsoft guns on the students sitting there. Like all of the students seated inside, she wasn't sure what was going on. The student who came in on the left and turned to look at him. Meanwhile, the student on the right was about three feet away from me, between me and the wall, and shot me in the side with one of the airsoft guns. The whole thing has her stepfather, Dirk Morgan, outraged as well. Our family has the utmost respect for all law, law officers, and, uh, and we just like to know who's accountable, who made these poor decisions uh, in, in our daughter's life uh, that could have been much more serious. So today I went looking for answers from the Wilmington Police Department about Sergeant Fithen's decision and did the department know. Today we got a statement from Chief Dwayne Wayand who said that he heard about it yesterday and that quote, as of today we haven't been contacted by anyone to report this incident. We are currently looking into the matter. As for the college, a spokesman sent a statement as well that read in part, Quote, it's unfortunate that this happened, but we relied on Sergeant Fithen's judgment about how the training should be conducted. In the meantime, Rewalt says both the police and the college need to do better. There's other ways to do it without inducing a panic or causing injuries um, or not making people aware that that's what they're getting into. Jay Warren reporting, obviously a lot of questions still tonight remain about whether the department knew about what the sergeant's intentions were and if not, why not? Uh, we, of course, will continue to follow that story as well.